Welcome to today's meditation. Addiction comes in many forms, and although it is different for everyone, it is also difficult for everyone. Let's begin by taking five big, deep breaths together. Breathing in, expanding your belly as wide as you can, and exhaling any tension in your body. Breathe in relaxation, exhale judgment. Take another deep breath and listen closely to this very important message. Even though hypnosis and meditation are powerful tools in overcoming challenges and facilitating change, it is up to you to help yourself and ask others for help during this powerful process. It will be up to you to set a schedule, keep your rehabilitation on track, mark your milestones, and maintain sobriety. So let's begin. Find a very comfortable position and make sure you will not be disturbed. It is critical to know the root cause of your addiction. So as you breathe and relax, your conscious mind will let go even further and the subconscious mind will be allowed to fully receive these positive affirmations. Continue breathing and say, I will overcome addiction safely. Breathing, I will work slowly towards this wonderful change. Breathing, I take my time and have compassion during hard times. Breathing. It's easy for me to always keep the goal of recovery from addiction in my thoughts throughout the day. Breathing. I know that I have the power and the love within my heart to break free from this addiction and become who I truly am. Breathing. Subconscious, please help me fully understand the root cause of my addiction. Breathing. I know that I gain great relief by letting go of addiction. Breathing. I understand that withdrawal symptoms can be dangerous Therefore, I allow others to care for me in order to let my body and my mind recover. Breathing. You are doing amazing. So now that you have relaxed so well, take a moment to listen to any messages that you may need that will help you towards your goal. In time of intense temptations, it's our solid relationships that carry us through the storm. It is your responsibility now to ask these individuals to help you when you need it, and it is vital that you do so. You do this from now on and do not hesitate to ask for their connection, and these people are delighted that you have asked them and are honored that you trust them so much. Imagine this person now helping you along the way. Allow the image of this person or many people to rise in your mind and allow the feelings of love and compassion to rise with them. Accept their offer to be with you and accept their love. Look them deeply in the eye and say, I need you. They smile, you hug each other, 
and you form a trusting relationship. Our addictions are powerful toxins that your body has come to rely on, so it is extremely important to never go cold turkey. The detox can be deadly. During this transition, it is important to have medical assistance so that they can get you through it safely. I like to imagine the detox portion of addiction removal as going through giving birth. When a woman gives birth, she is surrounded by those who care for her and by those who can assist her if any medical scenarios arise. Every birth is different, just like every withdrawal is different. Yet, they are also similar in the way that it is a very difficult transition for the birthing mother, but the result is that there is a new life and love to cherish. And when you break through the detox withdrawal, it is like you are born again. A birthing mother is surrounded by support and medical experts, just as the withdrawing addict will be. Before giving birth, a woman once told me, it is the hardest thing you will ever do, but it is the best thing you will ever do. Just remember this advice as it also applies to detoxification. You are committing to a radical and difficult change. By removing addiction from your life, you have opened up the world of endless possibilities. But for some time, many things may feel they are missing, and this is completely normal. So listen closely to your subconscious mind now, and let it give you many new ideas of things you can do with your newly acquired time, like walking in nature or spending time on healthy friendships. Just open and listen. Taking care of your body will help your body heal from the powerful effects of your addiction. Eating healthy is the first step and is a lifetime commitment. Choose to eat whole foods and eliminate pre-packaged foods that have too many ingredients. Even though you may think these things taste good, they are not good for our bodies or our minds. Eliminate eating out and take out food. Each day, strive to cook at home and enjoy this new task. Cooking healthy foods at home has replaced an addictive behavior, and you see immediate results in how much joy cooking brings you. Exercise is also very important. If you don't get much regular exercise, start by going on slow, long walks in an area that's outside and passes through or by some nature. When you walk, Take notice and gaze at the plants and trees and feel them supporting you in your journey. They do provide you with oxygen after all. When you notice a troublesome thought is coming your way, look at nature and appreciate its oxygen and take in a deep cleansing breath. Breathing and exercise removes toxins from our bodies and heals us in every way. Now listen to me very closely because what I'm going to tell you is extremely important. The task of shutting out longtime friends and avoiding areas known for drug use can be extremely difficult during the early days of sobriety. Taking these steps is critical to successful recovery of any kind. The more you break away from old, drug-oriented activities and people, the more likely that you will be successful in your self-guided rehabilitation. Finding new social activities is beneficial and worth the effort required. The ideas for where to be social will come to you. Just be open to them and make the leap into a healthy social change. Think of the gain in what life gifts you will receive 
by letting go completely of this addiction. Know that you have the power and great natural love in your heart to break from this addiction and live as you truly are. Allow any messages you have waited for so long to arrive. Breathe and take this important time for yourself. You deserve it. Now you must believe in yourself. If you are truly willing to let go of these destructive addictions, take three deep breaths. Two more. One more. Think of the gain in what you will receive by letting go completely of this addiction. You are gaining great power of will which stabilizes your life. The future, you can make of it what you will. I will finish with a quote. Emptiness is a symptom. You are not living life creatively by Maxwell Maltz. Great job today. And until next time, remember, live, love, and magic. Take care, everyone.